Hello! In this video, I'm going to share how to make a little folded book out of a single sheet of paper. And to get started, you just fold it in half like so. Make sure you crease it really well. I'm just using my fingers, but of course you could use like a scoring tool. Then you're going to fold the edge back towards that middle crease, just like this. Again, making sure to get a really good crease. And then I'm going to flip this over so that I can fold it again for you, but you just do the same thing on the other side and fold it back towards the middle, just like this. So here's what we have so far. And then what we're going to do is just fold it in half in the other direction. So this is the long direction. Once again, lining up your edges and then giving it a really good crease. And that's all the folding that we have to do. So the next step is to go ahead and cut this to form it into the book. So of course you could use scissors for this if you wanted to. Um, that's perfectly fine, or you could use like an X-Acto knife and a ruler. But I like tearing the paper. I think it gives it a really cool look, especially when you make your book out of watercolor paper. So the key here is to stop tearing when you get to that last crease. Otherwise, you'll just tear your paper in two. So here, as you can see, I stopped tearing when I got to that last crease. Then you can just fold the pages of your book. So start with the front page and then work your way around. When you get to that last crease where, the la where we stop tearing, you can just flip it over and then just keep folding back and forth. So here we go that you have a little book. I found so many uses for these little books and I have some examples to show you at the end of the video. But first I wanted to show you how you can get larger pages just by the number of folds that you put in the book. So here's another book made from the same um, size paper that I made the first book and I showed you and as you can see I only folded it in half and then folded it in half again. So here's the book that we made at the beginning of the video and then here is the book with the larger pages where I just folded it in half and then in half again. So two examples from one size sheet of paper. Next, I thought I'd share some examples of some of these little books that I've made. One tip, a hair tie makes a great way to keep a book closed. This first book that I'm showing you is a color chart that I made when I was testing out different color combos for a trip. And this is on really heavy watercolor paper. And on one side of the paper, I made a mixing chart. So here's all the colors swatched out. And then here are the colors that I ended up putting in the palette. So I put down where they were in the palette and then a list of all of the colors. And this little thing has really come in handy. Here's another little book that I'm working on. This is again on watercolor paper, but it's a different um, kind of watercolor paper. It came in a big sheet and then so this is just about a quarter of the paper. Next I have a little book that's on Bristol um, paper. This is like a really heavy smooth cardstock. And last but not least I have this little book. Uh, I think I'm going to do some um, colored pencils on this. I like how the pages in this are square because it started with a square sheet of paper. So there you have it, a whole bunch of ideas for these little books.